Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I have an Autolite 1100, one barrel, and somebody asked a question about the uh, vacuum, so I thought I'd do a quick shoot for this. Um, for the most part, vacuum comes from the barrel here, uh, through here, and that's from the uh, manifold, from the en engine, I should say. When it I rebuilt my carburetor, but it's still flooding. Do you know what's wrong? I don't know. Maybe you should have bought your parts at Mike's Carburetor Parts. Runs Now, you have a, a vacuum hole right here in the bottom of the flange, and that leads up to the choke. And what that's for is it sucks in, the, gives a little vacuum in the choke if you have a choke, um, and it pulls in the hot air from the hot air tube here. Okay, one other vacuum is uh, for the distributor. There's a hole right there. You can see it. And that feeds up to the spark valve if you have one. And then to the distributor advance right here. Okay, so in this particular case you would have a vacuum at idle. Uh, some of the later carbs uh, uh, actually use the bore vacuum uh, to operate but that's not that's not this carburetor here so that's what it does that's what the vacuum does uh, pretty simple uh, I hope that helps you understand where it's going uh, what you want to do is blow air into each one of these holes so blow air into here take the cap off and make sure it's coming through good and, uh, <clears throat> and of course you don't want your gasket blocking this hole and then same here blow here and just put your finger in there and feel the vacuum or if air is coming through there as you blow through. So um, that's all you need to do. All right. Oh, one other quick thing is the, uh, it's, this isn't vacuum, it's just the vent. Um, it's just a vent to the float bowl and it just goes back into the carburetor, basically. Okay. All right. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.